We've heard about COVID-19 potentially leading to long-term effects even in recovered patients. Now, a new study led by scientists at Nanyang Technological University has highlighted yet another possible consequence of the disease blood clots. That's right. The study found that the coronavirus can lead to a prolonged immune response, which in turn causes blood vessel damage and increases the risk of blood clots. Here to tell us more is the study's principal investigator, assistant professor for vascular medicine, Christine Cheong. Prof Cheong is from NTU's Lee Kong Chen School of Medicine. Prof, what did your study find with regard to the link between COVID-19 and blood clots? Our study is motivated by the need to better understand the long-term health consequences of COVID-19. We found in 30 COVID-19 recovered patients that they have an elevated degree of blood vessel damage. And this in part could be contributed by an overactive and persistent immune response that could cause inflammation and damage to the blood vessels. In turn, these blood vessels may become leaky and release factors that trigger the formation of blood clots, as seen in the complications that were experienced by recovered COVID-19 patients weeks or even months after the initial recovery. Right. So, Prof, you know, as your team gathers more information about this, how would the findings shape guidelines when it comes to recovered patients who have been discharged from hospital? Indeed, post-hospitalization care is very important. Recently, World Health Organization has made a recommendation for hospitalized COVID patients to be prescribed low-dose anticoagulants, uh, in other words, blood thinner, and whether these should be extended to recover patients after they have discharged from hospital will warrant further research and more clinical studies. But if these patients continue to experience lingering symptoms such as fatigue, breathlessness, and especially chest pain, they should seek medical attention immediately. Right. Also based on the findings of your study, Prof, should people with existing cardiovascular conditions uh, then be prioritised for COVID-19 vaccination? As we know, there is a national strategy in place for vaccination prioritization. So the older people are being prioritized to receive their jabs first. And in general, uh, older people tend to be the ones that have certain underlying chronic conditions. And I believe they can be covered under this appropriately. Um, Prof, you mentioned earlier that there were only uh, 30 participants who have recovered from COVID-19 uh, in this study so far. Considering other limitations and existing studies on long-term effects of COVID-19, what are your next steps in the research? We recognise the constraint with the current study. And in fact, there is an ongoing national effort to really understand the whole spectrum of the long-term health effects of COVID-19, also spearheaded by the National Centre for Infectious Diseases. And we are hoping to contribute the biological understanding of their blood vessel damage and continue to work with clinicians to relate how would that predispose to the risk of blood clot formation in the long run. Okay, we, we appreciate your insights, Professor Cheung. Good luck with the study, of course. We've been speaking with Assistant Professor Christine Cheung from the Lee Kong Chien School of Medicine at NTU.